All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another 2019 NFL Scouting Combine video. Today's video is the one that I've been looking forward to the most ever since seeing these highlights, and it is the running backs, or the best of the running backs, running 40 yard dash. In the previous two videos, we looked at the kickers, we then looked at the uh, offensive linemen, and right now we're gonna be looking at the running backs. So with that being said, I thought for once, I'd bring out my boy, my boy Fournette, my favorite running back. And I'm not even gonna lie about it. I fucking love my boy Leonard Fournette. And um, let's just hope that he, uh, well, he stays with the Jaguars and he plays a little bit more than he played in the, the previous season because a, a slight disappointment on my part, I mean, I, he was probably the fourth or fifth running back that I ever, ever watched. And so once I saw him play, once I saw his style of play, once I saw his ability, his speed, um, and, and one thing that really stuck with me, and I'll never forget it, is when he got the ball, he came out to the right, uh, a, a defender was coming up to him, I think it was a safety, possibly a cornerback, and um, he, he beckoned them on. He was running with the ball at full tip. He's like, fuck, come here, come on, let's do it. They both went 100% at each other. So ever since I saw that, and ever since I've got this jersey especially, um, you know, I can't go past my boy Leonard. So with that being said, let's look at some running backs. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Whoa. Okay, yeah, the explosion out of the line is noticeably faster than the offensive lineman. I'm going to put this back and watch it fully. He looks fucking quick. Let's go. Holy shit! Fuck, he's fast. Who's this? Alex Barnes, he's not as fast. 463. Whoa, that guy was so quick. Oh, fuck. It seemed like he got, like, he just continued to get faster. Like, he was fast off the line, but he just continued to, to, to increase in speed, which is, um, you know, it wasn't what I was predicting. Now we've got Nick Brosette from LSU. Let's go. Ah, ah, ooh, ah. Ah, ah, go, son. Quick, he's got one of those styles that's really like bringing him forward every step, you know? Um, interesting. I'm not sure why this freaking bar is at the top. I'm going to try and get rid of it right now. Uh, there we go. I mean, a little bit of Mark Ingram when I watch him. Back to another Alabama like that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're absolute blazers. There he is, Daryl Henderson. Smooth, but four, five, three. You're not playing the bowl game and then go to something else with contact. Go! Fuck, man. Those three guys within. That's the last three guys that have hit 4.5, respectively, pretty much. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. I haven't seen. A running back run a 40 yard dash for like six or seven months ever since I did reactions to the 2018 NFL Combine. Um, and I remember actually at the time I was so disappointed that I hadn't known about the NFL when it was on. So this year I'm watching it pretty much in real time. And uh, look, I'm just happy to be here, man. I'm happy that you guys are here with me. And we're watching some running backs absolutely kill it down the 40 yard dash. Now, is anyone going to get a 4.3 something? That would be impressive. Four five flat jump forty inches a little bit ago too. So he is Holy shit! He's gonna get four three something. No, he's not. Four four. four, four. Flat. Man, I gotta I gotta look at that guy again. The way that he stayed down was unbelievable. Flat jump forty inches a little bit ago too. So he is Look at that. You know, even even up to ten yards, he's literally like well, it's it's slowly coming up now, but especially for the first five yards, his back was perpendicular to the ground. Fuck, he's fast. Well, 
He can he can work on his start, that's for sure. He's out of burn. Physical runner. Look at his body, bro. It's like a bodybuilder. You better be fast because you're small. It's a great number. Travis Homer, how big are you? And you're a running back in the combine. Let me let me see. I'm gonna say six, six one, six foot, possibly two hundred and five pounds, two hundred and ten pounds. Homer. Travis Homer, running back for Miami. 5'10", 200 pounds. And he got 17 reps of the bench press. How the fuck, Bruss? How? <laughs> 39.5 inches of vertical jump, 130 inches of the broad jump, which is a crazy number. 130 inches into feet. One inch equals zero. 130 inches into feet. 130 inches equal 10 feet 10 inches. 10 feet 10 inches. I love it. I love the fact that he's a smaller guy and he's killing it as a running back. But I'd also like to see his style of play. I'd like to see him actually run some people over or at least try it. Because, I don't know man, the speed through the line, it's the agility. You don't necessarily have to be looking for the contact every time. There's all different types of running backs. Being a running back is, is just like being an artist, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a hole, yeah, there's a, a play, yeah, there's a way that you're meant to go, but if that closes off, if that doesn't work, the natural ability, the artistry comes into play and you just do what you want. I'm talking way too much. Way fucking too much. Wisconsin's Alec Ingold. Alec Ingold? fullback. Alec Ingold. This is where Josh Jacobs would have run had he been healthy. Alexander Madison, Boise State. Another name that you won't see there, Bryce Love. 468. 468. 468, guys, is my PB right now. I'm from an injury. 468. This is a big one. I, I'm anxious to see this number because I love David Montgomery as a player. 458. No, 464. There, there you go. He is good, man, he is so good. He, um, and you have Devin Singletary of Florida Atlantic. 479. Number 43. <laughs> 453. He must have sped up at the end there because he didn't look very fast off the line. 50, and those are Patriots played in Atlanta. Uh, I'm talking about the Rams and Patriots. I'll race my kids. That's Super Bowl in Atlanta. Oh, okay. They challenged me to be, Ooh, I'm telling you to be the best. Okay, Miles Sanders. Where are you going, mate? Okay. I like Miles Sanders, a.k.a. Steve Smith. Open it. Yeah, go son. I love watching running backs finish because it helps the wide receivers. It helps buy time for them on the safeties. So you, you got to earn your keep. Four six six for Motor Singletary. What is it, Motor? <laughs> Devin Motor Singletary. I got to earn your keep. Four six six for Motor Singletary. Penn State fans saw way too much of the game. Four minute, he was the four minute offense. Four seven flat. You really do want a four seven or under as a running back, don't you? Anything above four seven, it's like, I just saw a punter run four sixty three. You know what I mean? You, you, that's just the way I see it. What do you guys think? I mean, yeah, a 4.8, a 4.9 can still look fast. I mean, if you break the tackle and you've got no one in front of you and you're a 4.8 guy versus a 4.9, five that's chasing you on defense i mean if you've got five yards between you you're probably going to make it to the try line the touch line not the touch line not the try line the end zone but you're going to get caught more times than not and um yeah i, I just reckon a 4.7 is, is that standard you've got to get under that as an offensive as a, a skilled player sorry as a running back or a receiver possibly even a quarterback no not a quarterback Quarterback would probably be under about five seconds, I'd say. Mike Weber, Jr., RB25. Here's Mike Weber of the Ohio. Go Weber, he's fast. 449. Fuck, there's been so many guys around 449, 450, 451. I need someone to go 43 something. The first guy we saw was the, was the fastest, I think. 4.4. That's passion. It's called passion, guys. Passion about his teammates. <laughs> Four, five, seven, I do think he had a bit of a stumble. Healthy for a full 16 of health. Yeah, they, they had it. I mean, the injuries was just so horrible. Man, I want to say DJ, I was listening to your podcast with Lucky. 
And you guys are talking about the last couple games. He, he did some good things. Oh, tackle. So many guys running 450, man. career rush. I also think teams are looking for bigger third down backs because get these little third down nice. backs. Nice, solid. Solid. He clocked a time under 4.6. I know I'm faster than that guy. He catches the ball well um, out of the backfield. I believe he's a uh, four down back. He is a tough arm inside. They catch a little bit out of the backfield too. There's a big split. How did that happen? How did he get four point? Oh my god, what have I done? What have I done here? Never meant for bigger third down backs because you get these little third down backs that can't. When those three that were running out and they decided to drop to a knee. And uh, Eric Tart, he, he catches the ball well um, out of the backfield. I believe he's a uh, four down back. He, he is a tough arm inside. He catches a little bit out of the backfield too. There's a big. How did he? How, what, what happened there, man? Did he? Did he stumble off the line? Let's have a look. What he, he is a tough arm inside. He a little bit out of the back. Fuck, man! I don't think anything happened there. That's just. That's just strange. We're in commercial break four. There's Daryl. <laughs> Cameraman, got to be onto it, mate. Don't leave him behind. He does. That's what. Hey, you got one job, buddy. He's a big. He's a big change of pace. Whoa! What the fuck? I don't even see that. Four thirty-seven. You joking me? Catch a little bit out of the backfield too. There's a big split. We're in commercial break four. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why he ran a four point three seven. Watch this. Watch this. He catch a little bit out of the backfield too. There's a big split. Watch this. He's gone. Okay. He's gone. He's gone. And that's, that uh, timer started like literally 0.1 seconds slow. Big four, there's Daryl Henderson. Four, five, three, he does. That's what I, I hate is the whole run. Uh, Henderson yeah. is a big. He, I reckon that's a 4.47. I'm like, sorry guys, don't shoot me, but I reckon it is. Big change of pace. He's a big guy, runs downhill, and he's also fast. Four three seven. He just clocked. Can you imagine that? Four thirty seven. You just got faster than Saquon Barkley, mate. I mean, well done. Deserves a round of applause. Bugs, water bugs. He's, he's, he's around. Four five. I didn't think that looked as fast. Four five eight. It is important to say these are the unofficial times. When you have a big split like that, let's see what the officials come back at. Oh, unofficial time. Was it Charlie Cashley yeah. zapping zap these things too? Was he yeah, but you can look. Well, it's a lot of them. You're going to have maybe one get away. You just got a right hamstring, just went down. Yeah, man, let me see that. I wanted to see the injury. Was it Charlie Cashley yeah. zap, zapping these things too? Was he yeah, yeah, but you can look. Well, it's a lot of them. You're going to have maybe one get away. You just got a right hamstring, just went down. Oh, that's <laughs> no good. That is no good. Elijah Holyfield. I asked somebody at Georgia if, it, how, if yeah. his teammates liked him. He said, not the defensive ones. <laughs> Elijah Holyfield, 4 8. Travis Homer. Hey, DJ, this guy, I, remember Mac Hollins out of North Carolina? Yeah, yeah. Special teams guy? Travis Homer had 10 tackles on special teams last year. They Is that the guy that commentates on Madden? I swear I've heard that voice before, and that's where I've heard it. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, a like huge bang. Pull back. Yeah. flat. There you go. Because I believe he does bring a lot to the table. And Big I strides. He may not run a great time. I like that. But when you look at his film, what we call those guys, they're like, why? They just get better with time. Get better with time. Uh, That's it. Just David, keep giving them the ball. David Montgomery, a 464. Hey, I put a guy in the That first daughter, Lee, told him what it meant. Thomas well done. The Under 4 6. Yeah. One of the best kickoff returners in the draft right here. See this year's Rashad Penny in terms of kick return. Kickoff returns, eh? I see. Not, not everything else, DJ. Yeah, he has some value there, that's that's for sure. Miles Sanders, 4-5 flat. See if he can beat Saquon's 4-4. Four, four. Uh, uh, he's fast enough. That is who he is. Plenty fast enough. Jordan Scarlett. Scarlett. 
Scarlet well done. Four is 448. 448. Very aggressive on motors. Yeah, yeah. Singletary. Any better is 466. The answer is. Get the motor going, mate. No, I know he's quick as all get. I thought he'd be a little faster, DJ and MJD. Yeah, that's absolutely the commentator from Madden. No shit. <laughs> I thought he'd be in the four fives. Yep. Benny Snell. Three one hundredths of a second better according to our time. Weber. Yeah. 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 Ohio State's best. Oh yeah. Skill position players every year, so they've had to talk with three teams. But does that surprise you that the 49ers yeah. Yeah. Because you have, that, that hurt a little bit. He is way team. too high. Tell me that guy's too high. Uh, we might wait, wait until Dwayne Haskins was thrown to get that. Bro, I could see him getting under 4.5 if he just stuck his ass down a bit more. And to be honest, he's got my number. <laughs> James, what are you doing, mate? That's fucking my number. Look. See? I guess we'll see what Juju Smith-Schuster can do. Ah. He's the number one without Antonio Brown taking some of the defense. Well, he gets top speed pretty quickly. It's flying fast enough for him. Yeah, that'd be fun. And MJ. Sweet. Okay, so we had a... What do we have? A 4.37, which I believed was probably about 4.41, 4.45, something like that. We had a 4.4 on the dot, and we had a shitload of times around 4.5. So I would say from there, you know, all you can really hope for is to not only beat your first round score, but I would say get under 4.6 seconds. If you got above 4.6, 4.7 seconds, unless you're a fullback, specific fullback like that one guy got, like 4.9, 5 seconds, I think you're off. I think you're done. You're done because you still need that pace, man. You still need that pace. Anyways, guys, that's just my opinion, and uh, you can do what you want with it. So with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe for more, please do, because there's plenty more videos to come. And uh, the next one is going to be the best of the... Actually, you know what? We're going to keep with the 40-yard dash. We're going to go quarterbacks. Quarterbacks run the 40-yard dash in the 2019 NFL Scouting Combine highlights. Let's get it ready to go. And what do we got? Jake Browning. Jake Browning, number one. Six foot two, 211 pounds from Washington. And I cannot wait to watch it. I will see you guys soon.